Whatever part of the industry that you're working in, it's really important to have that continuous professional development. We have got to have the maximum level of skills, whether it's the farmer or the farm staff. They need to be right at the front line, the front line of knowledge. The science is there and the science is being developed every day. The government's actually investing a lot of money in R&D and we've got to get that R&D and that science into the field. Financial output will very much relate to the level of education we've got in our team and the better educated team, the better understanding, the more efficient we'll become. The beauty of this scheme is that we're deciding what the training needs to be, the users are deciding what the training needs to be and then the courses are designed bespoke to our requirements. I believe there are huge opportunities for the future, the next 20, 30 years. My father took us probably what you could describe as the second agricultural revolution with introduction of mechanisation, sprays, chemicals, breeding. But you know, for us, we've got an opportunity for a third agricultural revolution as we bring in new technologies, technologies that weren't even considered just you know, a few years ago, and there will be more. Training and development will be fundamental to the success of that third agricultural revolution. It'll be right at the centre of it. And that's why we at G's are absolutely committed to artists and making it a success. At Produce World, we're really keen on having a highly engaged workforce. And that does mean a career path, um, being recognised, being developed, and knowing that there's always another step up the ladder that you can go. And one of the key parts of that is a really good structured training and professional development programme. And artists can fit into that as one of the rungs on the ladders um, that our employees can take. At GEES, we know it makes really good commercial business sense to invest in training in our people. Retaining people and giving them career plans and development plans is really important to us. Artists is a fabulous opportunity for G's because it means that we've got access to credible training that's been delivered by accredited trainers. It's delivered in a flexible way, so we have the opportunity to have on-farm training, we have the opportunity for classroom training or whether it be e-learning. I think this is the first time that there is a real focus on bringing scientists and highly qualified crop managers together. How the soil works, how the nutrients work, how the right environment for the crops to develop and only through artists' courses can we get a more specific understanding and training in those areas and only through better education can we raise the output. I think for many people, unless they invest in training and development, uh, that there's a question of survival. Why I wanted to get involved and be involved with artists is this is really being led by the industry from leading uh, farming businesses uh, in East Anglia, working with NIAB to develop these, these really top class courses so the whole thing is led by industry. One of the strengths of the artist project is that we are setting up a register of skilled trainers. These will be people really at the top of their game. People who have as much knowledge as it's possible to have in so that, that if you come on a course organized through artists you can reckon you're talking to the best in his field. We have four steering groups to help us guide the training courses. We have arable, we have vegetable and salads, we have soils and we have fruit. We have a wide range of courses at the moment to cover many aspects that, that employees have asked for, but we're also expanding the range of courses that will be available at any one time for high level people within the organisation, middle ranking employees and we have foundation courses for those who have relatively little experience. The information on artists is available widely, but the best place to go is just to go to the artist's website and look at the courses that are available and even book one 